Diddy accuses lawyer, high profile person unknowingly recorded. This is going to get tasty. Because I, I, I thought for a moment that the Diddy shit would end up being like an Epstein thing where there was this dangling dangling of a carrot in front of us that we were going to get the, you know, the black book was going to get opened up. We were going to see all these names of all these high people who were associated with Epstein who also went to the island and got involved in some dodgy shit. But in the end, nothing ever transpired from it. Nothing ever really came out of any note from the Ghislaine Maxwell interviews. Once Epstein kind of offed himself, it was kind of over. And that case kind of got, you know, sweets under the rug. And everyone kind of pretended like it didn't happen. But I felt like with the Diddy stuff, we might get some more shit. We might get some more stuff, right? So let's go through the article. It says here, Ariel Mitchell Keed, or Ariel Mitchell Kidd, the attorney of a new Sean Diddy accuser, says that she's been contacted regarding the sale of one of Diddy's tapes. Yo. Mitchell Kidd would not reveal who was in the video, but said that Combs and someone more high profile could be seen in a pornographic tape. Could you imagine who that is? Diddy is super famous, super high profile. Who possibly could be on the tape with Diddy fucking somebody that's more high profile than him? Damn, damn, damn. The names just keep coming. The name just keeps coming. No pun intended. There's already... There have already been tapes leaking around Hollywood, being shopped around. And but one in particular person contacted me to shop a particular video, made your kid on said on Friday. I can tell the video was pornographic. This was his. This was in his Atlanta home, and it does seem like the person isn't looking into the video. To me, it doesn't seem like the person knows they were being videotaped. <sighs> Could you imagine how nervous you'd be now? Not only this high-profile person on video. It also looks like it might have been a secret video. Cause so could you imagine the amount of sweat buckets you are sweating right now trying to figure out if that's you or not in the video? <laughs> Yo! Mitchell Kidd also revealed in horrific detail about the alleged rape that happened between Combs and one of his new clients in 2018. She reached out to me a few weeks ago. She called me and told me about her assault and her escape. She was at a friend's house who had industry ties and Diddy decided to come to the house. It led to her being served a drink. She started to feel woozy. Combs sexually assaulted her with an inanimate object, Jesus Christ, and then directed another gentleman to sexually assault her while he watched and pledged himself. Mitchell Kidd said that her client was able to escape, running to the streets, and neighbor reportedly witnessed the escape. So there's, going to, so there's a witness that can corroborate the fact that this woman ran out into the streets, probably half naked, looking delirious, looking high, looking clearly to distraught. <laughs> it might, yo, Diddy, man. I saw, I saw, I saw like an account recently that he's actually looking to file another appeal or something. I'm like, at what point you just, just accept your fate? Just accept your fate. At what point? There's so many people coming out of the woodwork. I saw a report somewhere that there was like over a hundred, a hundred people waiting or something. 100 lawsuits or something like that kind of line it's like at what point do you just accept your fate and be like you know what i did a lot of dirt and i'm now come it's now coming back to bite me in the ass at what point you just accept it because you're not going to get away with this you're not there's just too much unless all these people were the only way i see him getting out of this is if somehow they can prove that all these people were willing participants and even though it doesn't really matter because i think i've now been able to understand that sex trafficking and shit even if you are, even if you do agree with a sex worker to engage in some sort of sexual activities, the fact that you pay for their flights and their accommodation and shit is sex trafficking, it's human trafficking. It doesn't matter, even if you agreed. So you're still gonna, so it's still illegal. You're still in trouble. So I guess the only way you can win in a court of public opinion is if he's able to maybe prove in court that everybody that took part was a willing participant, because all these people are making it seem like. They went to his house to hang out and then one minute they're drinking Prosecco, next minute they're passed out somewhere and there's a hundred people around them gooning, you know? That's what they're making it seem as, which is obviously way horrible, way worse than what he's maybe thinking it is. So if he's able to maybe prove that, oh, they were all in on it and now they're all trying to get money or something, maybe, but I just don't think it's likely because all of these accounts that are coming out, they're not very pleasurable, they're not very enjoyable, they're not very happy, they're not very like adult consenting environments 
they seem like one guy who's taking a piss or take exploiting and taking advantage of people you know under under the influence and shit i purposely putting them under the influence you know the spike in drink i think i saw one account where someone was saying that it was a well-known fact when you go to diddy's house parties that you would always have to look after your drink and always make sure if you're drinking a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne, make sure it's from an unopened bottle. And allegedly someone was suggesting it got to a point where Diddy was aware of this, so they then started to spike the bottles beforehand. So I guess they found a way of like making sure they could really reseal the fucking bottles. Imagine that. Imagine doing all that. Imagine resealing bottles of fucking champagne to make sure you can fucking spike it with fucking GHB or Ket and shit. Fucking insane. It continues. The federal investigation against Combs has turned up several disturbing allegations against a musical mogul who is currently st sitting in a New York City jail, awaiting his day in court. The music producer was indicted last week on three felony charges after months of speculation surrounding a possible federal investigation that could be connected to the slew of civil lawsuits. Since the indictment, the several high-profile voices have spoken out against Combs and another alleged victim has come forward, bringing the 11th lawsuit filed against him following his arrest combs attorney mark anglophilio issued a statement issued the public to serve to reserve judgment until the facts are in and noting that combs has corroborated with the investigation he says he's an imperfect person but he's not a criminal i hate this defense by the way i think dsp says this a lot a lot of locals say this i'm not a perfect person no one's saying you're not a perfect person you just did some disgusting horrible ass shit that perfect person defense is such a gaslight Honestly, it's such a way to manipulate people. Oh, I'm not a perfect person. Yeah, but you're a bit of an evil person. <laughs> you know what I mean? I no one's doubting that you're not perfect. No one said that you were perfect. We're just pointing out some of the fuck shit and some of the bullshit that you may have done over the years and now you're having your day in court. But I guess it, it's probably a lot... It's probably um, naive of me to wish people who do do horrible stuff to just like own it. I guess it's never going to happen. Right, if, especially if you have your day in court, you're always gonna make, you're always gonna try and get away with it if you can. But I just feel like, given him, given his kind of rap sheet, given how long he's been around the industry, like given how much shit he's done, at some point, like just, just put your hands up and say, look, I did that shit. Yeah? Do you have to put everybody through the process of having to come up on on the stand and testify and recount all their horrible experience of you? Just, I don't know. The honorable thing to do at this stage is just be like, to be like, you know what, I did it let me have my punishment and go from there but i'm probably wishing for too much i'm probably probably wishing for too much